How's it going, bro? Not good. I haven't actually played any of the DLC maps in Modern Warfare 3. I played some of them, but not all of them. Ooh, these classes, though. I don't know what to use. I guess I'll snipe. Sure. I don't even know if this class is good. It's probably awful. But whatever, that's not the point of the video. Point is, if you were like checking the internet on like Call of Duty news and all that today, you probably saw that today, uh, Modern Warfare 3, after probably like 10 years of not being the top of any live streaming platform, became the top of Twitch. It had like 300,000 viewers. It was the top game on Twitch, aside from just chatting, which is not a game. It's just kind of there. Oh, it's all bots. No wonder I'm owning. Why do I have a suppressor on, though? What? That's so weird. Why are, Why is everyone in my team against bots? Why is it not, like, equal amounts of bots? That's so weird. But, but no, th this wasn't because, like, there was a mass influx of people playing Mono Warfare 3 because everyone was tired of Vanguard and that bullshit. The truth is, uh, like, a ton of Spanish-speaking streamers, I think they're, like, the OGs of Spanish-speaking YouTube, did a turn on, on modern warfare 3 which absolutely blew up Mo most of the competitors had at least more than like 20,000 viewers i'm not using this it's still mind-blowing though like Im imagine scrolling through twitch and seeing modern warfare 3 first thing is foremost There's like no prior i guess warning i don't know what else what other words to use it's just so weird to like look at but it's, it's really awesome though for real i didn't understand this thing they were saying so i wasn't watching i don't speak spanish but this is huge nonetheless uh i am playing plutonium right now it's because one it's a nightmare to playing games on 360 and two they were playing on plutonium so i, so I thought it'd like you know fit i don't know why i'm still playing on this ball lobby i don't know why i'm just really bad today i i popped off in black ops 2 party games but i did awful on mono for three i don't know what's up with that i mean look right i expected i expected a mono for three tournament to be big right like it, it would be some games maybe csgo not even CSGO, honestly. They have, like, a tournament going on right now. I would, I'm not watching this tournament. I never watch the Pro League. I always forget about it. I only really watch, like, Cologne and Kaido Wheats and all that stuff. And Blast and the Major. Basically, everything but the Pro League. I don't have a vendetta against the Pro League or anything. I just forget it exists. What? None of those bullets hit! Aim assist? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, this one, this one's dedicated to all those streamers saying that control aim assist is way too OP and should be nerfed. I don't know about that. That's... I don't agree personally. I think it's perfectly fine the way it is. Well, in Black Ops 2, I didn't notice it's kind of OP. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is with me and Modern Warfare games nowadays. I'm just kind of trash at them. What else is today? Oh, yeah, there's uh, Optic Gaming versus LA Thieves. Sorry, Optic Texas versus LA Thieves. This stuff going to be a really interesting fight. It's actually going on right now, but I didn't make a video yet so i just have to record this and edit it while like i guess keeping up with the score i might have just missed something really big i, I wouldn't know man I, I have no clue stun you can't use a stun remember when stuns did 20 damage in vanguard who whose idea was that <laughs> there were like mini grenades which also like blinded you it's insane oh i actually got uav Control support is a little scuffed on plutonium. You can't really navigate the menu, so for some reason you have to use like the numbers on your keyboard to call in kill streaks, and you can't just use the D-pad. I don't know why it's like that. It's perfect on Black Ops 2, but also it had it built in the old time. I just had it like disabled. Well, on MW3, they had to rebuild it from scratch, which honestly that's highly respectable. Oh, that's a sniper guy. Watch. Uh, I'm gonna make sure to watch the rest of the Optic vs. LA Thieves match, so it's definitely a very interesting matchup. I hope. I mean, obviously, I hope Optic win, but, like, I, even if LA wins, I'm still happy that Envoy would win anyway, so, yeah. Either way, it's mostly just a qualifier. I don't really watch as much as the actual majors. I think that's all I have to say. Uh, thanks for watching.